Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be talking about Pokemon Go. Now, I know a ton of YouTubers are talking about Pokemon Go, not even talking about it, just playing Pokemon Go. And I'm, got, I'm not going to play it on this channel, just so you guys know. I don't want to go down that road, but I am going to tell you guys a life story of when I was playing this and on vacation down in Florida. Now, as you can tell by the title, yes, Pokemon Go in the hood. So, how did this happen? How what 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 happened to make me play Pokemon Go in the hood? I'll tell you. Go ahead and like this video if you if you've liked it so far, I guess, or just keep that in mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. Upload every single day, so there's definitely something for you at least once a week. That's what I like to say. There's at least one video a week that you will like. So let's get right into it. All right, so it was about 7 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, me and my friend were like, hey, let's uh, jump on the long boards and go play Pokemon Go. I mean, why not? Because if you've played Pokemon Go, it's hot. You know it's hot. It's summertime. You guys are walking around outside sweating. Nah, you get on the long board, you got some wind rushing in your face, and it's in the evening time. Very good. So we got on the boards, started playing Pokemon Go. This is probably our second day playing, so we we're still kind of learning, uh, figuring out exactly how to catch Pokemon. And we just set sail. We just got on the long boards and went. And a few hours passed. And I mean, we played Pokemon Go from about 7 o'clock in the evening till about 1 o'clock at night. And right around 12 o'clock, 12.30, somewhere right in there, we kind of look up from our phones, and if you're wondering, like, whoa, how does your battery life last that long? Don't worry, external batteries in the book bags, cords plugged straight into the phone. We've got this covered. Pokemon Go champ, right? So, we're riding, right? We look up, and we're in the very sketchy part of a neighborhood, and I guess it would be the hood. It's technically the hood of where we are, and there's people out, people looking at it, and you guys have heard on the news, people getting robbed, people getting killed as they play Pokemon Go, so we're kind of freaking out, right? So I'm like, okay, where are we? I had no idea where we were. Literally just looked at our phones and went off on longboards, on roads, sidewalks, through parking lots, went so far away from the house, such a dumb idea, but I guess we're old enough, we can handle ourselves until you get stuck in the hood so we saw some people walking around us and or not really around us but on the other side of the street and there's actually things happening like people are still driving it was very active where we were and we were kind of sketched out you get you, you got to think i mean we're just stuck there got our phones out we got our book bags full of crap we're long boarding around and we're not native to the area so i get on my phone and i'm trying to like look where to go back and unfortunately i something keeps happening with my phone and siri and i'm like hey take me here and siri's like let me think about that so as that was happening let me think about that he was trying to google exactly where we were and we were kind of just stuck there not really moving we were on long boards i was trying to keep a lookout around us because who knows very sketchy area and uh, it turns out that we just made it back luckily we we went through, I guess, I mean, luckily, I mean, if I would have been shot or stabbed, I probably would have vlogged it, for you guys to see it at least, but we made it back. It was very scary for a little bit, I, I don't know why it was scary, I mean, it could be any place, but whenever you're in a bad area, and you've got, like, book bag full of crap, you've got your phones out, you're just playing Pokemon Go, and you look up, you look at your watch, and it's midnight and there's still people moving around you it's kind of sketchy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit about pokemon go and in fact we caught several pokemon that night i'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that got some good ones i don't know if you guys want to know what kind of pokemon i have and i don't really have that many good ones anyway i'm still kind of a noob at the game but you know it's fun it's fun for what it is i'm glad pokemon go is making people move and get out and go around and you know this game has been out for years if you guys don't know that it was like in beta and i'm i just i don't i don't know i was not why i didn't know about it but it inspired me it didn't really inspire me it just made me go to gamestop and get a dsi and pokemon so i've been playing that non-stop really i've been just been playing pokemon pokemon go it's so fun out of pokeballs right now luckily i'm back home in downtown of where i live there's literally like 25 pokemon go places i mean not pokemon go places but poke stops i'm gonna fill up on pokeballs tomorrow or today as you're watching this hopefully you guys enjoyed this video 
another life story. Like I said, I'm going to limit these down just a little bit. So, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys have been into any sketchy areas. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.